Hello everyone, V2 is a very to back here with another deck review today. We're looking at the latest from 311, the Spider-Man deck, which is going to be up alongside the Dark Knight deck. They also released a while back. Dark Knight was the first DC-related deck. This is another one of their Marvel-related decks. Of course, they've done some Avengers decks in multiple different colors. Only so many colors you can do Spider-Man, really. Um... This one is inspired by the most recent movie trilogy, which I've not really seen. Maybe I've seen one movie. I don't know. I think the last one I saw was The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, I've always enjoyed the first trilogy way back in the early 2000s. Uh, just haven't followed much of the more recent stuff. I really should watch it, but haven't yet. But that being said, Spider Man is one of, well, it is my favorite Marvel superhero. So the front of the box is a nice red, blue, and gold foil. And it says 311 on top with Spider Man's body and Marvel Studios Spider Man playing cards. Actually, this black foil, too, looks like. On the uh, side, it says, With great power comes great responsibility. Quote from Uncle Ben, of course. Same on the other side. The top, it says something. I can't see what it says, though. Because of the seal. Add copy on the bottom. Trademark stuff. And the back is the back design in the red, blue, and gold. Pretty cool. A custom circular seal that has Spider-Man's face on it. Very nice. That's a foil seal. More foil on the flap with Spider-Man. And then some spider symbols on the flaps and the inside some more artwork in gold foil. Into the cards is a couple of ad cards. I should mention to see if I got any more information for the tuck case. Um, this that is triple foil tuck case, which captures the essence of the iron spider suit. So we got a couple of ad cards. We got this one for Fury 11. And the other side, Fury 11 presents the world's finest playing cards, blah, blah. Pretty nice though. And then the other one is an ad card. Same on this side. This side is just a back design. It's a nice back design, nice colors, very fitting for a Spider-Man deck. Again, I don't know if there's going to be a, another Spider-Man deck in the future. Like they did multiple X-Men decks. I just don't see it because there's only so many colors you can use for Spider-Man, really. I mean, uh, unless you want to use... Start going through all the colors of suits that they had in the Spider-Man game. Which would be kind of ridiculous. The Jokers, you got Zay Jonah Jameson. He's a menace. <laughs> and then... I'm not sure who that's supposed to be. That's supposed to be Aunt May or somebody else. I'm not sure. Is that supposed to be his cop friend in the game? I don't know. Again, haven't really watched the New York trilogy. The Ace of Spades. His trust, you tingle. Spidey senses and you see Spider-Man on there. Very cool. All guards have custom pips. There's a spades. Uh, diamonds, the ace of diamonds, by the way, has. I guess that's the green goblin. Maybe that's just the iron spider helmet. I'm not sure. There's clubs. The ace of clubs has <laughs> a fist of some sort. And then there's the hearts. I got like webs. Yeah, it's webs within the pips, and there's the Ace of Hearts. With some, some kind of writing around it, some kind of symbolism. I'm not sure what that means. Going to the court cards. You got uh, this guy. Is that. Who is that? <laughs> now, I will say there's several spider suits and Easter eggs, and three different Spider Mans featured within the stack. I did not 
the information on the characters. I don't recognize him or her for that matter. Of course, there's Spider Man. That person. Is that supposed to be. It's not Mary Jane. It's the other one, right? Is that a girlfriend? I'm guessing I don't remember her name off the top of my head. Isn't her Spider Man? Uh, Green Goblin, looks like. Willem, Willem Dafoe, always awesome villain. And some other characters I'm not familiar with, unfortunately. Another Spider-Man. And some other characters. Again, unfortunately not really familiar with most of these characters. Uh, overall though, really nice deck. It is printed by USB-C. With an Ericus and Venice on their FSC certified stock with vegetable based inks, starting space laminates, like all of their decks really. Handles good, looks good. I wish I knew more about some of the figures. That seems to be a uh, common theme with most of my Fear 11 deck reviews uh, on decks like this. Overall, though, very nice, solid A, plus in my opinion. Though, I well, maybe it's an A. I'll give it an A. It would be an A+, plus if I recognize most of the characters. Or more of the characters. And I shouldn't really say that that would make it less. I do feel like it would be better if it was just a general Spider-Man deck with other characters like Vulture and uh, others that you know I recognize from the old cartoon days or the video game. Or just in general, there's no Doc Ock, there's no Sandman, no nothing. <laughs> just a bunch of random people who don't really mean a whole lot to me. Anyways, that is that. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. It's a nice deck, either way, and if you're a fan of the trilogy, definitely worth getting. Or just a collector like me. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe.